Hello everybody, welcome to the first video of time lapse of Scar Island. In this video, we're going to be just kind of my decorations of the lighthouse. This is mostly the interior, but I start this video off by finishing up the outside. There's not a lot to do on it, I just had to finish up the roof and add the door on this side. It's a lot more, uh, you know, it's like, a lot of the stuff you can be kind of messy with, like, I'm not always using the grid. As you like, as you might need to, because I I like using a grid, but I really only find it necessary in, in closed maps because it's a lot more tight, a lot more detail compact compared to a larger terrain map, which have all these things spread around the map. You don't really have to be as good with. You don't have to really have to be. You can be a little bit more messy because, well, most unless it's like really really bad, it's not going to break the map if you have some messy work. And the only reason I care of it is because of small maps, it just makes the payment a lot harder. This is something that's not really the case. Uh, and this also is my first outside map resource too, so I'm kinda I'm still kinda learning how to do it. How to I'm still learning the good habits for outside work. So I'm not completely there yet, but I'm getting there. So here I am, I've started to just trim out the floor uh, for the inside one. There's a lot of end guys here, which isn't always like what you want, but it is really so. Here, I'm trying to find out how we're gonna do this without, you know, connecting to the lighthouse. It's, I just realized to do do it that way because it's quicker. Alright, so I at this point I didn't know what I was gonna do for the inside. Now I don't have the texture for the camera version, so I was just showing up with like a different idea. So at this point, I was thinking of a wood one, but I didn't really have any textures, and I realized it wouldn't really fit. It wouldn't really fit with the so I decided a I decided a brick would be good because uh, I, I like brick. Now here uh, here we are. I'm, I have this guy sitting here. Here we are. Change it up a little bit because it, it's it's like half the size roughly. Yes. Now this size is 128 by 128. This is 64 by 128. So, but I think it's going to turn out to be good. We'll see the results uh, shortly. Oh, and this is also times five speed. So, this the original clip is about an hour long. This clip is about an hour long. It's about like 13 minutes, I believe. Something like that. So, I was just showing you it's kind of you know, It's not as big, so. Uh, Sorry about that, but uh, like some keeps on. Uh, it's not as like big, so I started to go inside the house. And the first thing you, uh, you want to do is do the floor. Right? The floor texture is concrete, easy because of all the base and texture. Now later on, I I've been lucky this night because uh, I have a lot of bricks already installed, so I also have to get a bunch of assets besides some props. Props are going to get yeah. So here's where I decided to do brick texture. Uh, I decided to just go what I did on the outside. Alright, but uh, what I did on the outside, which is like brick trim, uh, the 128 units. I uh, I like it. I think it really, you know, anything that adds depth, I think it's really good. Now, like those wall trims, the dark wall trims may seem unimportant, but you move the whole thing, all the all the uh, brown, all the sorry, dark gray bricks, and you don't really have a lot. It's really just you, the more and more you can find detail, the more detail that like makes sense that you can put in the world really helps. So here, as I was saying earlier, I had to confront with like the size issues, I had to show it. I think it still looks good. Uh, yeah. But just to take off the gray bricks, it's a brick house. Uh, you take off the curse here, it's a block house for Minecraft pretty much. It really, like, that's the thing that takes so long to learn is detail. It's learning how to add more detail so you gotta like know it, it may seem like simple that oh well, to have a detailed map i set that details but it's like it's why the detail is like you gotta without having like an exact reference picture you gotta know how to what to say but unfortunately i didn't really look at a lot because it's not fitting my style but i knew from past projects so I'm just talking this thing under the eyes and I had to make the top below the side trim for the little cool. Uh, I don't know what you want, but... 
So here I am making the uh, This just adds, you know, another desk, not gonna be flat. So here I just rotate it to uh, have that color there, and bam, that looks a lot better. I had a trim there, then got a ladder. Now this ladder is too tall, so I have to uh, convert it into a editable mesh, which you can actually do, so it's really cool. So I fill the holes that I cut off, and I just put it in place. Uh, this track is gonna be end up being a placeholder. I do find a uh, texture at least a better texture. Might end up replacing it as well. Uh, I don't know yet. So now I'm gonna go and go make the uh, ceiling, the arch, ceiling triangle, whatever it is, uh, ceiling support, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this one was actually simple uh, to make. I was kind of like confused where I wanted to put it to make it like make sense, but I ended up with something I'm more happy with. Now it's. Not perfect, I think. I made the. It's a little thick in some places. But, like, you really don't have to overthink all of this. You know, people aren't gonna look and compare. The average player. Right? The average player isn't really gonna look and realize, oh, like, this shouldn't be there. Blah, blah, blah. You know, sometimes I get stuck on a portion and I can just get past it quickly because I realize that to not overthink it, which is. You know, what I did here. I, I didn't like all those trims, so I decided to delete it, and I ended up with that many trims. I was happy with it. So now I'm gonna start trying to fill up the rest of the place with it. Now, since the lighthouse cuts in, it's not a really square place, so I'm gonna have to end up figuring out how to do it. Which I did end up doing it. <coughs> I tried to uh, remove the vertical studs in it and the bottom studs, so you don't have the arch stud. If that makes sense. Uh, and I had to go throughout the whole thing very happy with it. I think it turned out really good. Uh, here, I just, it's not really broken or anything, but I think it just looks cool the way it's falling down. If you guys disagree, I to change. Yeah. So I just have it like, it, you know, nothing pulled out to it. It's warping down. Uh, let's look at what we have still. So here I'm kind of just cleaning it up. Uh, I have to get one on here. Uh, you know, just having a float like that doesn't look really good, right? Yeah. So, you guys have a good, I, I found a really good collection that I really like. I was, if I were to get one, I probably would have picked something really similar to that. I mean, because that's what I had in my mind, the coins. Right, really cool. Now with the trims, the studs and stuff, I'm, that's probably going to be a place for Because I don't like having people with the boots and tacks everywhere. <laughs> So I will just quickly keep this thing up. As I'm finishing up the trims, uh, you know, what to that I like to say to all developers. Now, I know a lot of you guys don't have sandbox access yet. Sucks. Uh, it's not a lot to make more. The only thing is, though, they're facing a lot of, like, valve stuff. So, if you're making, like, a map in Alex, or even Steam VR, don't put in entities uh, besides, like, the bare minimum. I wouldn't even worry about lights either. I wouldn't, I wouldn't worry about lights. Um, because all that stuff, it got phased over into C Sharp 2 compared to being a uh, FGD, which I don't really know the difference, but I think each entity is coded for, instead of having like a, I don't know, like a, it being in one time file. <laughs> so, I don't, that doesn't really mean anything to you, but I wouldn't go make any entities for making it. Uh, there's a few more things, like, they really have done a lot with the entity placer, kind of. I mean, uh, not really, now that I think of it, but they've been changing that up 
I know there's been talk about redoing the terrain because no one really likes the terrain. I think it works for the music. You have like giant subdivide feature. You have smoothing, which works, but you don't have. You can't just like mass subdivide, which really sucks. All right, so here I've started work on the interior of the lighthouse. I decided just to do a flip version of what I did outside. Gray brick uh, on the corners, the red brick on the side. And even though it's very simple here, I really like it. So I think I'm gonna fill a little bit more. Yeah, I think I might do a little bit more twins and go up. I think at windows, but I put a lot of really thick wall between the interior and the outside. So I don't really think I can put windows except for the. More space before at the top, the, the floor before the uh, roof. So you see how that. Uh, let's see how that goes. I'm planning to just start working on the tunnels after this. Yeah. And things like lightings and props, I do at the very end for those wondering. Uh, reason why is because you know I don't want to spend a lot of time making good lighting and change a bunch of stuff. Yeah. I'm aiming for this match to be done in June. Uh, you know, I if I can get work on it uh, often enough, I think I'll be fine. So this is pretty much in the video, guys. I'll be posting these every now and then, maybe a few times a week. You guys have all all have a good day.